The main goal of the design and develop module is to answer this question. The module starts by discussing the evolution from eco-design to design for uh, the circular economy and sustainability in Chapter 1. And since the transition from selling products to providing services is so important in circular economy, this chapter also includes a section on product service systems. Chapter 2 is about the role of design in a circular economy. As Michael Brown Gart and William McDonough put it, it is important that design students and other professionals reflect on the role of design for a circular economy. Then the module discusses the catch-e strategies of design for a circular economy in Chapter 3. Within the project, we established eight design strategies. These strategies are for product and for service development, and they are in line with the definition of circular economy. So they include not only environmental criteria, but also social criteria. Chapter 4 proposes a methodology for product and service design based on a stepwise approach. Chapter 5 is specific for the construction sector. It discusses the characteristics that construction products must have when they are integrated in a building where circularity is the objective. Then we reach a more practical part of the module. In Chapter 6, tools are presented, both tools that were developed within catch -E project and also other tools that are important for circular design. And finally, in Chapter 7, you will find case studies and examples that are relevant for the furniture and the construction sectors. We hope you find the module helpful and inspiring. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us or send us a message through the social media.